Are you ready to hear what the Lord is talking about the 1st of October when it comes to Nigeria? I'm going to show you today. Nigeria. Today is the birthday of Nigeria. And the Lord showed me while I was in the bathroom. And I saw an angel appear to me. And, and he said, he said, look at the mirror. He said, there are words that are written about Nigeria. He said, these words I began to write. But before I began to write, and the Lord is saying, I will bring blood first before I will bring water second. Then before I will bring my judgment as the last, then I will bring peace. But at the end, and he said, I will bring my judgment first. And the second part again, and he said, I will bring water. And he said, the last part, and he said, I will bring peace. What do I mean in the 1st of October 2022? The Lord said, let me tell you that 1st of October, which is today, that he has begun his judgment in Nigeria. A new judgment has come. And today being the 1st of October 2022, the Lord said a politician will go down, but he will be hidden as a secret and they will hide it from you and I. But as time goes on, they will not be able to hide it anymore. It will be seen. That's what the Lord is talking about. And I saw the spirit of Mary Slesso for the second time. And the spirit of Mary Slesso came with other women who fought for the killing of twins years ago in this country in Africa. And the Lord came with her and she was having sword in her hands. And why would the sword be? The Lord said the judgment is now written in the words of houses. And I began to see the words of houses be marked for death. And I went to Abuja city. That is a place called, we'll say six. We'll say, so they don't really call it, we'll say six. That is a house I'm seeing there that is white in color. So, and the Lord painted it red. And they say the owner is going. I don't know that place. And the Lord is moving towards our syrup. And there are estates that I see a lot of people start going down. Oh, they began to see a red pen, a red pen, a red pen. There are houses that are being painted. There are houses that are being painted. The Lord said it is time. The, the Lord said it is time. The Lord said it is time. The Lord is saying it is time. And the Lord said it is time. So many houses are being painted red as I'm talking to you because the judgment is now. I have been saying it, but now I will act it. Thus said the Lord of hosts. And the Lord showed me a revival that is coming to the world through Nigeria. It is not from America. It is not from the UK. It is not from Europe. It is not from anywhere. The Lord is showing me a revival that is coming to Nigeria to the world and the Lord said they insult Nigeria they call us religious country they call us poor country the Lord said they call you people different name but I will start my revival through Nigerians and if I'm done with Nigeria and I will move to South Africa where I will finish my revival to the world also so the Lord said in Nigeria I am coming with revival from the 1st of October 2022 my revival will start from Nigeria to the nation and, and, and I began to look and, and the Lord began to show me a young man and a woman God showed me a young prophet apostle evangelist and they are rising to a great work in Nigeria in this 2022 I saw young prophet I saw young apostles I saw young uh, evangelists and the Lord is rising. These people I'm talking about are below 30. Most of them are 33. Most of them are 34. Most of them, the least I am seeing is about 20 years old. The Lord said, my revival has touched the ground. And from Nigeria, I will revive the nation. For you have served me in different parts. For you have called on my name. For you have received blasphemy. You have received insult because of me says the Lord of hosts and I will because of that cause revival from your country to the nation I will rise prophet 
I will rise apostles. I will rise prophetess. I will rise evangelists. The Lord said the revival is moving from Nigeria, the giant of Africa, to nations. And, and I began to look again. The Lord said, He said, God showed me a new economy. I saw a new economy. The Lord is showing me a new economy that is going to be implemented in 2023. I saw a new economy, a new economy that is rising in Nigeria and that is, is not going to rise and it will start rising from henceforth in Nigeria because there is, a, there is going to be a lot of changes. The Lord said the economy there is going to be a new economy that is going to be rising. And God showed me, he said, there is a new growth. And the Lord began to show me new cities. They will find gold in Nigeria. I began to see gold. I see gold. I see the Lord is showing me gold, 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 gold in Nigeria. I saw gold and, and people began. There is a new system called mining. And mining became to be seen in the northern part of Nigeria and, and, and the mining began to, to they began to see mining in south south Nigeria they began to see mining in the, the, the southeast of Nigeria they began to see mining in south is this southwest they, they began to see in this southeast southwest south south these are the three places the Lord is showing gold I saw gold through mind there's gonna gold people are gonna be digging and there is there is gonna be there is gonna be there is gonna be gold there is gonna be gold there is gonna be gold thus saith the Lord of hosts there is gonna be gold so Nigeria will see a new gold and the Lord said they said the oil will finish the Lord said I cannot finish the oil the Lord is showing me another well new wells will be open in Nigeria new cities new communities will be open in Nigeria that's what the Lord is showing me and, and, and I try to move and the Lord said a kind of a new treasure will be found in Nigeria it's a new treasure that will be found he said this will make Nigeria prosper and Africa will rise again through Nigeria there's gonna be a treasure that will be found in Nigeria to the nations of the world the Lord is saying a new nation is rising in Nigeria. Please keep sharing this video so that somebody out there are coming. And I began to still look and I began to look and he said, where are your voters? Where are the candidates? Can you still see the candidates? And the Lord said, don't go further than that. And the Lord finished what he was saying. And the Lord said, you shall look for a candidate. You shall see him no more. Thus say the Lord in his new move in 2020. October 1st and that's it so the new economy that the Lord is showing keep sharing this video God bless you and I saw another vision and I saw a senator began to say the truth listen I use the word senator the Lord began to show me a senator who sat down and the, the Lord showed me I saw a senator who sat down and began to tell what is really going on in the country I saw a senator who did that, I saw a governor who did that, and I saw another personality who did that. There were three who came forth to tell Nigerians who Nigerians were dealing with in the past government. And I saw this one man stood up and said, we will change the Senate House. And there's going to be a reform in the Senate House because the Lord is showing me something in the Senate House. He began to say the truth. Major changes will start from the Senate House. And Nigeria, listen, the Lord said there is going to be a major truth coming out from the Senate House. So there's going to be a reform. There's going to be a change. There's going to be the truth. And everybody will say, I am ready to speak the truth in the Senate House listening to this word specifically that's what the lord is saying he said there is going to be a change in the senate house everybody will come out with a truth yes lord and in the realm of the spirit and the lord showed me a new leader who will take over nigeria in 2023 should i tell his name i will never try that on facebook on life in my program and this new leader will rise in 2023 and it's a promised land 
that this leader will take Nigeria into. And he said, who will fight corruption and arrest this present government for looting and corrupting. And the Lord said, I shall give you a new president in 2023. And the Lord said, a new leader who will take Nigeria forward in 2023. And he said, and it's a promised land and it shall come to pass. This is a, this, <laughs> this is a man who will come to take Nigeria from the crash to the promised land. That is what the Lord is talking about. And the Lord said he will rise. And the Lord said, Nigeria, you are still going through the surgery. For I will not call up or talk about this new president that is coming in 2023. And as I said before, I have said it ago, 2021 in the Nigerian next president. I've said it in 2020, the Nigerian next president. I've said it in 2019, Nigerian next president. And this time it's close. Our lives are important. Nobody can kill me, but it is better we play safe so that they will not hunt that person. If I'll be able to say who is the president, they will hunt him down. Are you understand what I'm saying? Because there is a lot of senators who are listening to this live program now or before. So I'm not going to call anybody's name. And the Lord is talking about the new government will arrest this present government for corruption. The governors you see that are making noise, screaming, shouting, calling, chanting of the friend. And the Lord said, I will handcuff them in 2023. The Lord said, I will judge them through my president. That's what the Lord is saying. He said, my oil will pour upon, will pour upon that man I have chosen in the month of November 5th. So there is something that is going to happen in Nigeria in November 5th, after this October. The Lord said that thing will shake the nation. He said, through that, you will know the next president of your country. Listen to me. Rally does not mean, the numbers of people in rally does not mean that the person they rally for is the president. And the quietness of other party does not mean they have planned well. And the opposition that wants to fight by all means to get the position does not mean he's going to be the president. Are you understand what I'm saying? So it is about you to sit down and watch and pray. And I saw God changing the constitution of Nigeria. The constitution of Nigeria would be changed in 2023. The constitution will be amended. In 2023 and I saw the Lord began to cut off salaries of senators of governors of contract officials and the borrowing was limited and Nigeria began to pay the bills which they are owing and the Lord said some of the debts will be cleared off thus said the Lord he said the deals this new president will bring will clear off the debt of Nigeria that the new president will clear the debt of Nigeria. I don't know how it will happen, but the Lord said there won't be money to be given back. But he said, I will put my grace and my mercy for this debt will be cleared and Nigeria will be free of debt from 2023. That's what the Lord is talking about. And, and in, in, in a vision, as the Lord began to show me how he's changing the, the constitution and amending it, in the constitution there is going to be a great massive change which this constitution will also help everybody the poor the rich and the less privileged are you understanding what i'm saying the constitution will not only the constitution will not only favor the rich but the constitution will favor the poor than the rich that's what the lord is saying and the lord said there will be a high tax on the rich people in 2023 henceforth. There's going to be a tax payment of the rich. Why the poor won't pay any tax, thus said the Lord. That the rich will pay tax and the Lord said the poor won't pay tax. So that is going to be a favor. And the Lord said in that time from 2023, the Lord said the churches will have challenges, but the churches will rise and fight for their right. Thus saith the Lord of all. And the Lord is saying, He said, Justice has come to stay. For anyone 
of the politicians who will use money or influence the Lord said I will take influence away the Lord said I would unveil their evil faces and justice will stay in 2022 from the 1st of October and the Lord said justice shall come to stay the Lord said do anything with these politicians and you will see justice will take place justice will take its course and I was still going and the Lord began to show me passport I began to see our passports becoming relevant and we are down 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 and the Lord began to shift Nigeria from the number where it is to 50 to 40 and Nigeria began to move in the in the passport index and Nigeria began to move into 30 and Nigeria began to move into 20s so Nigeria began to have those free visa on arrival and visa free on arrival so Nigeria is moving from the backward index and clocking to 30 to 20 index in the passport of Africa and the entire world that's what the Lord is talking about and the Lord said the dollar will fall and I saw the dollar began to fall the dollar began to fall and the Lord began to bring this dollar to one dollar to two hundred naira and it began to fall to 150 and dollar began to fall to 100 so it began to fall to 100 to 150 to 200 and this is the range where it will fall it is between the range to 100 150 or 200 and, and it said the next president after this president will come to oppress it to 100 to 80 and it said the country should have a good economy through the index and the dollar rate that's what the lord is saying and and, and I, I i began to look and he said i saw new development watch now there is going to be a new development in the country a new development i saw skyscrapers new skyscrapers will be built in 2023 the budget will be signed the favor will come and the lord will show nigerians a new building structure and through the structure they shall build new job opportunities for bricklayers for civil engineer for electrical engineer and technical engineers and the Lord said there shall be a multitude of jobs for these new buildings will take place and the Lord said about the building skyscraper in different states economical growth we're not only going to see um, in Lagos skyscrapers in Abuja not Abuja only we are going to see new skyscrapers in Port Harcourt City in Kaduna City in Imo State in Abia State mostly and in Anambra we are going to begin to see a new skyscrapers being built because of the economy that the Lord is changing and the Lord began to move and I see God raising prayer giants in Africa in different areas I see prayer giants prayer giants they began to rise began prayer giants began to rise prayer giants began to rise in the four walls and you are going to encounter Muslim praying in tongues and you are going to encounter Christian speaking in dimension I'm talking about Muslim real Muslim speaking in tongues thinking they are just praying that's what the Lord said I am raising new giant of prayer warriors in your nation that's what the Lord is saying the Lord said Nigerians do not expect automatic change that's what the Lord is saying he said Nigeria do not expect an automatic change the Lord said there will still be terrorism but there will be a complete left or living out of the terrorism the Lord said it shall be reducing rather for it to be increasing but for your security sake I will tighten it up don't say the Lord and the Lord showed me a new recruit that are coming who will refuse to take bribe I saw new recruits in the military I saw new recruits in the police force I saw new recruits in the Air Force I saw recruit new recruit in the Navy force and the Lord said the forces they shall be a new recruit and in this new recruit they will fail to take bribery and corruption and the Lord said I will take 
the chief of staffs away. The Lord said, I will take the generals out. The Lord said, I will take the colonels out. I will take the old faces, the first face, the second face, and the third face. For new faces shall rise into command in the 2023 Nigerian Armed Forces. And this is what will chase the military into the place of the Boko Haram, into the place of terrorism, into the place of Fulani. And the Lord showed me that borders will be closed. Nigeria, your borders will be shut down for your Fulanis would not have access to your nation without having something promising and something better to do. They shall take your passport serious to say no more to Nigerian animal movement in your nation. In the different states, I saw animals being stopped from moving from place to place and each state began to train and began to grow their animals their cows, their goats, their chicken, their fruits, their, their, their cooking stuff. That's what the Lord is saying. He said, each state will have its own production. It won't come from the northern part in 2023. Thus said the Lord of hosts. And, and I began to see hope is coming again for the poor masses. I see hope and begin to come for the poor masses. This is, this is hope. This is hope coming for the poor masses. This is hope coming for the masses. Things began to fall down into terms of cheap. Government began to pay some certain amount of money to the traders and these products began to be reduced. That's what the Lord is talking about. And the Lord said in first of economy, the growth of economy will start today. The growth of Nigeria economy, check it out, will begin from henceforth. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. And the Lord said, fearless leaders will rise. The Lord said, fearless leaders will rise. Pastors, there are pastors that will be arrested who have earned money from politicians, from this present government. The Lord said that it's going to be pastors. I saw pastors being arrested. I saw prophets being arrested. And I saw prayer warriors being accepted. I saw churches as a whole being closed because of the corruption they have taken from this present government. That's what the Lord is saying. And He said people will be arrested. They will fight corruption. And God said, my hand shall be upon them for the corruption. He said, fearless leaders are rising from henceforth as the movement of the protest will begin. That's what the Lord is saying. And the Lord said, I saw prosperity in the church. I saw prosperity in the church. Great prosperity of men. Great prosperity of women in the church. That's what the Lord is saying. He said, prosperity in the church. And the Lord said, there shall be a wealth there is a second stage of wealth transfer because the politicians that we arrest have monies they have invested into the churches and the Lord said they will input all into the churches while they die. God said they'll say they shall be moved into the churches. So wealth transfer is into the churches. So the church of God shall never be a poor rat. So keep insulting the church while the church will grow. And the Lord began to show me, say God will glorify himself. And we'll see manifestation, healing without stress. In the month of October, there will be healing without stress. The Lord said in 2022 October, the Lord said HIV will go easily without stress. The Lord said cancers will be healed in 1st of October, henceforth in Nigeria. And the Lord said there are health challenges, that is healing is going to take place free of charge. Thus said the Lord, there is going to be healing in the land. Thus said the Lord, individually there is going to be healing. There is going to be healing in different cities. That's what the Lord is talking about. And I move forward. He said, those churches who accuses others of wrong will be exposed. Those men of God who come to camera to begin to accuse other men of God. The Lord said, get ready. You shall be exposed. Because when one points a finger, points the other, the, the tree of his finger is pointing back at him that's what the lord is saying he said many people who come out to judge churches and pastors will be exposed in 2022 to 2023 and henceforth and he said those who are those who are exposed to god will also judge them not those who also exposes others 
God will also judge you. Because the Lord said, I, I am the judge. I never sent you to be the judge. Let me be the judge. For I will judge my servant. Not you mere sinners. You sinners. You fornicators. You, you adulterers. The Lord said, you have no power to judge who I have called. For I will judge you in this time. And I saw the spirit of judgment. I don't know anybody have encountered the spirit of judgment. The spirit of judgment looks like armor all over his body. And his face is like a lion. And in the realm of the spirit, I saw the face of a lion. And I saw the face of snake. And I saw, and I saw shield of tortoise. And I saw sword. And I saw the shield of tortoise in his front. And he carried the face of a lion. And I saw the serpentine spirit. And the Lord said, this is the spirit of judgment. And it came with sword. And in his sword, there were blood dropping that has never end. So this sword of judgment has landed in the nation from the capital city, Abuja. That is where this man is standing in the nation emblem. And I saw a very big hill, that mountain in Abuja city. And I saw that rock that is there. As I'm talking to you right now, I saw an angel standing with a sword, with a lion face, with the face of a lion and with a serpentine head and swallowing and roaring, roaring, shouting judgment and the sword has been lifted up and the light is shining. I don't know who have the same spirit that the Lord is showing me. That angel is standing on the city of Abuja in the rock, lifting up the sword and said, I have come to do the work of my father to slay the people who wants to slay us because remember jesus said those people who say well, they will never bow to me he said bring them and slay them and this sword is dripping with blood thus said the lord and it has come and it has come and it has come and it will start from the church it will go into the abuja city the capital city and the asarok and it has started that's what the lord is saying and he said revolution Protests will change many things in this country. There are rising youth, as I'm talking to you, they are gathering to rise for protests in the next few hours. And the Lord said many things in this country is rising youth. I saw change of power of government. So will that change of power begin now or next year? But what the Lord said, there is going to be a change of power of government in the next few weeks to few months. And there is going to be a new rising youth, fearless youth. They are ready to die for their country. And the Lord said they will rise up and they will go forth. And they will go forth. And they will go forth. Let's begin to see what will happen today, the 1st of October and the 20th of October. It is starting. It is two weeks straight protest. It's a two weeks straight shakings that is beginning in the next few hours in this nation. That's what the Lord is saying. And these people will tell the power holding. He said, keep the light steady. And they will say, no, we don't stay in the house. We are tired of staying in the house. It is time to come out to the first. And it is time to face them. And it is time for judgment to come. That's what the Lord is saying. And I saw the heart of leader will change before overthrown. I saw the heart of leaders began to change before the overthrown will happen in Nigeria. What do you mean by overthrown? Prophet, I won't say anything about overthrown because they should they shouldn't be knocking on my door and say, what do you mean? There is going to be a change of heart in many leaders before the overthrown of governments that is coming. I want to explain that to you. It's beyond my explanation live on Facebook. That is what the Lord is talking about. And I saw judgment in the church. I saw judgment in the church, mostly in the Nigerian church system. The judgment was start from a church called Winners Chapel.